Let's see, can you see me now? Oh, now you can see me. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. It's just that uh, the weather's still not cooperating. We haven't had uh, any kind of sort of warm weather. You know, we've had a little bit, but uh, still snow on the ground. Everything's all saturated and wet and water laid everywhere. So can't really do any work for another, who knows when, two weeks maybe. And call for some more snow this weekend. Well, hopefully it'll be just uh, rain and not snow. And then uh, since I haven't been going anywhere and making little short trips and I have a dash cam going in my truck all the time. Went to go anywhere? Yeah, battery's dead. So, there we go. And so, uh, since I really have nothing to do today, well, actually, I've been working in the house, but uh, nobody wants to watch me paint walls and that's kind of a boring thing there it's like watching grass grow nothing happens yeah i'm gonna go to tractor supply get a couple tubes of grease and i'm gonna go to harbor freight and uh get a pneumatic uh, grease gun because i just want to grease things faster i want to pull the trigger and just get it all done faster and uh we'll give that test out i'm going to grease the plow up because i should be hopefully putting it away after this weekend so I just want to make sure it's greased up and ready to go for the spring, just in case I don't get back to it. So, <clears throat> and I also wanted to go over other things that's been going on. I want to make a video this week, but uh, I was told I couldn't video where I wanted to. I've been having problems with my heart a little bit lately. Uh, it's been skipping beats and blood pressure's been up and it's been down. It's been all over the place. So. I went in for a stress test and the lady, uh, it's a friend of mine, does a stress test at the hospital and she said I couldn't bring a camera in there so I didn't bring a camera in there just because she didn't want to be on that video at all. So the stress test turned out fine, it, uh, my heart looks good and everything, it's just that it's skipping beats. So I will be going here, oh, let's see what's today, Friday, Monday afternoon I go and see my doctor and see what the next steps are. So uh, I'm sure I'm going to end up wearing one of them uh, monitors that monitors me for a couple days to check see what my heart's doing and see where, I don't know if I'll be able to control with medication or what they're going to do. But, um, so it's a, kind of a scary thing on my end just because I've never really had that much of a health problem, but now I seem to have a little bit of heart problems. So, and it kind of runs on both sides of my family, so it's kind of a hereditary thing. So. Um, well, uh, let's. I think the truck's gonna start right now. It's been sitting on there for a while, so uh, let's give her a shot. See this? Yeah, I've had this little Sentry battery charger. Oh, I gotta believe 20 years. I bought it to, just to charge up lawnmowers, and I just never had to replace it or get anything bigger. And it was on my truck for what 10 minutes, maybe, and the truck started right up. So I'm very happy with this thing. It's I don't know. I probably paid 30, 40 dollars for it 20 years ago. I'm sure of it was. It's still working good. Got my tubes of grease from Tractor Supply. And of course, uh, as soon as you walk in there, you can't get in and out because I always run across somebody I know. So uh, two tubes of grease, in and out of that store in an hour, just because I run into three people I knew. Being in a small town, I know quite a few people and every time I go into any sort of a store, I know I always run into somebody I know and it just takes me a little longer, that's okay. So the grease is done, now to go get a grease gun. And we'll see how good or bad this is going to be. I'm not sure. It should be pretty decent. It's not going to be a lot of money, but I only run four or five tubes of grease through the grease gun a year, and I just want to get it done faster. 
Well, that was a fail. That's the third time I've gone in there and that grease gun is not there and it took 45 minutes for someone to tell me that they don't have any. Got to go to Home Depot now and pick up a roller and some paint and some brushes. And I'll check there and see what they got for a grease gun. It's, cause I, the one I want is a continuous, when you pull the trigger I want it to be a continuous uh, greasing. I don't want to keep pulling the trigger all the time. So, and I also don't want to spend two hundred dollars on a grease gun either, because I don't use a, you know, I don't have to have a real expensive grease gun just to pump grease. That was another fail. I'm not doing too good on shopping today. I went into Home Depot there, and I like the lambskin rollers, and they did not have them, or they don't stock them anymore. The six-inch roller covers. So I have to find them someplace else. I just like them because they clean out so fast and um, they hold so much paint. And uh, they also didn't have any of them grease guns either. And since I'm going by a tractor supply, I never uh, on the way home I'm going to check there see if they have one because I forgot to even look there see if they had. I know they got Chicago pneumatic there I think it is or Holbart. I'm not sure which one it is, but. I'm gonna check there, see what they got for a grease gun. So I can get the ones where you just pull the trigger and just keep, every time you pull the trigger, it puts a shot of grease in it, but I just want the continuous grease when you pull the trigger. So let's uh, I'll go there next, I guess. And Tractor Supply doesn't have, well they have one, but I don't like the way it, the tube goes into the gun. It's a, uh, it's got a locking system on it instead of threads and I just got a with an o-ring and I gotta believe that is gonna leak out grease everywhere just because it's not very tight and it's kind of loose setting on there so I have one more store to check that'd be northern tool I'm gonna go just a few blocks up the street here and check that and if not, well, I'll have to go order one online, I guess. And that store didn't have any of the grease guns either. So let's check a couple yards on the way back to my house there. Um, I'm seeing uh, some of these yards that I've been driving by. I might be able to get onto them this week if it doesn't snow. If it snows, that'll put me back another week. Uh, this week, uh, I guess it was the beginning of the week. We had about a half inch of rain somewhere around in there, so that made things uh, a little bit wetter. But it also got rid of a lot of the snow. And there's, you know, there's piles of uh, certain areas, but some areas that have full sun, I might be able to get onto them this week. I'm not positive here though. I'm gonna have to this one here where all that stuff is all piled up there. I'm gonna have to bring all that back. So that's where I'm gonna be doing probably the first of this week actually be the first of this next week I'll be uh, cleaning up where the plow hook uh, yeah peel up a bunch of the sod some of the driveways got gravel and I'm gonna peel some of that up too so I'm sure we're gonna be uh, well I don't know it also depends on the temperatures too This is our warmest day for the next week. It's, uh, according to my truck here, it's 41 degrees out and it's not supposed to get above 35 for the next week. As you come up here, you can still see oh, bumps in this road. Still see a bunch of snow in the yards there. So that hopefully, that little bit of snow there there by the house will hopefully be gone here this week so that's all I'm looking at just a little bit of piles here and there that the plow pushed up or that I should say that I pushed up with the plow and you know hopefully tomorrow that they're talking for one to three inches hopefully it'll warm up enough where it won't be snow and we just get rain and that the rain will help get rid of the rest of the snow 
but then in looking at the long range forecast, it's supposed to rain again Tuesday and again Thursday, next, or not rain, but snow again next Tuesday and next Thursday. But if it does snow, I think it's going to be in the mornings. So hopefully there's going to be no accumulation and I just get the snow over with, but it don't look like it's given up very, very easily this year. It's not much for a video today. It's not the video I wanted to make. Uh, I wanted to get it, get that grease gun and try it all out and do a review on it, but that didn't work out neither. So, you know, I went to, what did I go to? I forgot how many stores I went to and nobody's got an air power grease gun for what I want. So I'm sure I could go to the parts store and get one, but like I said, I don't want to spend $200 on a grease gun. I just want a you know, $50 grease gun and I'm only going to put three or four tubes a year through that thing at the most, uh, at the most probably five and I just don't want to spend $200 on a grease gun. I can put $200 towards something else. $200 to get me a, a new handheld leaf blower which I'm going to have to get this summer because uh, my other one's uh, wore out, it's tired. It's uh, burning oil every time I start it. And through the whole time I'm using it. I never have to change oil, I just keep adding it. That is going to be the end of my video for today. Uh, if you would check out the links in the description box below, that'll have all the equipment listed and links to see my equipment that I use. And I uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. And everyone have a good evening, and we will see you at the next yard.